Hi guys, so as I mentioned on my previous story, we're just gonna do a short Q&A with Mitts at Dyla Worktop, just to answer some of your questions. Um, so if we just crack on with questions, sure, if that's all right. Uh, most people know me as Mitesh, some people know me as Mitts, whatever you wish. Brilliant stuff, I prefer to call you Mitts, so that's all right. <laughs> Brilliant stuff, okay, so why should people use you and not any other uh, kitchen companies well kitchen companies restrict your choice we have access to hundreds of different materials well a few different materials but loads of choice amongst those uh, materials so we have all the big brand stones which kitchen companies normally have but we also have the natural stones which we can arrange for you to view um, at the warehouses that we buy them from and it lets you just open up the door to what works up you really want and that's actually really helpful that because i know that luke popped along to your hair is it in her so hertfordshire that's, uh, that's in hemel hempstead that's hemel one hempstead. of our suppliers so we if we're buying stone from there they've, they've got natural stone they've also got their own own brand quartz yeah um, we send clients there and they can just have a look at everything that's available. yeah it's what absolutely is, humongous that warehouse isn't it yeah what Sport you see for in choice. showrooms is just a tiny fraction of what we have to offer definitely okay brilliant stuff okay so on to the next one what is the difference between quartz granite and marble that's something we get asked a lot actually so typically i think everyone refers to worktops as when they think about stone they just call it granite i want granite but there's quartz which is man-made granite which is natural stone and then there's marble again natural stone which do you use for your kitchen we recommend quartz or granite marbles you can use but they're a, they're softer than the granite and they stain easier quartz is probably the least staining um least upkeep so once it's in you just have to keep respect it when yep. it's in and then it will keep itself granite has to be sealed before it comes in and okay. then you have to reseal it every few years depending on the frequency of use bit of maintenance for that one exactly. then exactly okay um, but it's still i mean there's still some beautiful granites out there so i wouldn't discourage anyone to choose between marble uh, sorry granite and quartz because there are some beautiful stones in either category um, marble you can have it but it, you just have to be aware that it's porous and it can stain easier yeah i mean i've had a few marble chopping boards and just from cutting a pepper it stains my exactly. board and it's difficult to get off after once it's on it's difficult to get off whereas quartz you'll get a top layer stain which you can just wipe off with some soapy water brilliant stuff okay and i think the most important question of them all is is there much of a price difference between marble quartz and granite so when someone calls me this is the number one question they'll say i want a worktop but i don't want to pay too much for it people have told me it's quartz is cheaper than granite or the other way around each kitchen is individual we need x amount of material for each kitchen you may buy or select a granite that's high price and you may select a quartz that's a low price you're comparing apples and pears never going to work okay the best way to do it is select some materials on our website and you'll be able to see some granites and some quartzes send us what you like and we'll put you for for the two and then then you'll know and you do actually like. offer a sample service don't you so if you see some some sort of uh worktops that you like online you can actually have a little piece of it is yeah, that right so quartz is is great we can send out samples no problem yeah it, it's a bit difficult because each slab is individual okay so the patterns on it aren't going to be the same throughout the slab also the slab that we send you a sample of may get sold by the time you get to it because that is an absolutely unique piece of stone it's so i guess in long and short of that then is if you want a quartz then you can get some samples off your website but if you want granite then it's probably best to go and visit one of your showrooms exactly so not one of our showrooms the wholesalers we'll send you whichever's closer we'll, we'll arrange for you to go there um and they'll have the slabs ready for you to view and walk around brilliant stuff and what sort of worktop would you recommend for those that want a lot of vein uh, like marble vein effect to it so there's um quartz is probably the best one if you're looking for it in the kitchen because you have a lot of marble effect quartzes now yeah so there's the calicatas which are big they're beautiful big, big yeah veins. there's carraras which are less thicker but evenly spread throughout the worktop which is what you guys are having yeah and then there's um the statuario which has a mix of 
um, thick veins and thin veins, veins spread across the whole. whole Brilliant whole stuff. Okay, and uh, something else that you'll see a lot of these days is that people are starting to bring the indoors out and having outdoor kitchens. Yeah. So, what would you say is the best worktop material for an outdoor barbecue area or outdoor kitchen? So we would say granite for that one, just because of the the um, properties of granite. If you're having a barbecue area, there's going to be a lot of heat. Yeah. Um, granite is better with the heat than quartz. Fine. So to put, um, okay. Brilliant stuff, and presume that you can cut any shape and size from a slab. Absolutely. I think we'll be doing something on site which we don't typically do normally, but. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. Luke wanted a. Um, the uh, pop-up, pop yeah. Hole. So we'll, we'll be doing that on site, but the slab comes in a certain measurement and yep. we custom make it to fit your kitchen. Brilliant stuff. Okay, we're nearly there, Mitt. Sorry to sorry to keep you, but um, what's the best cleaning product for each material? Soapy water. Just a bit of fairy liquid and some hot water, warm water, and just wipe over it and most stains will come off. And I think as well, it's like we were saying earlier, it's just a bit of TLC really. With anything, if you want it to last, you've got to look after it. But yeah, this is the biggest thing. People will say, I want white quartz, but I don't want it to stain. I'm yep. scared of it gonna stain. Well, if you cook, eat, and then clean, if you follow that pattern, which I think most people do, then it's gonna be fine. But if you spill something and leave it overnight, then I think you're gonna get a stain and you yep. shouldn't be too surprised if you do. Brilliant stuff. And last but no means least, do you work all over the UK? UK is uh, a bit big. We'll, we'll keep it to England. Yeah. We'll cover most nooks and crannies of the of England. Um, but feel free to give us a shout, and we'll we'll see if we can get you. Brilliant stuff. Do you want to give us a twelve so we can see your details on your oh, back? Yeah. We well, hey, brilliant stuff. Thank you very much for your time, Mitts.